Getting older has been pretty interesting because the more I grow, the more I know, the less I seem to really know. I thought with age, I would automatically find the answers to my many questions. But the more I go through life, the more I wonder if I will ever find any of these answers, especially ones related to the idea of home. I have been living away from home for almost 10 years now. And I want to say that getting to live abroad is first and foremost such a huge privilege. It expands your world and mind. You get access to opportunities and experiences that you otherwise wouldn't. If you can, even for a short while, you should absolutely leave your hometown. But just like everything else in life, everything good also comes with a price. A price no one really talks about when it comes to living abroad. For one, living abroad is really, really lonely and hard emotionally. All the sick days you spent cooped up alone, all the birthdays and special days you had to miss out on, and all the hard days you had to endure on your own. In a state of constantly missing someone or something, because the people you love and who love you are everywhere. It has been almost 10 years since I left my home, Jakarta, for Los Angeles. I left at 18 when I got into my dream college. It was a foreign city I had never been to before, but since it was for a dream, I was so excited to go. But the excitement couldn't prepare me for the emotional turmoil that was about to accompany me for the next four years of my life. Every year, I would get on a 19-hour flight, and on that flight, I would spend most of it, usually, listening to Coldplay and crying my eyes out. When I moved to New York City at 22, I thought that now, as a real adult, the longing would have stopped. While I stopped crying on long-distance flights, and whenever I had to say goodbye to my friends, I traded all of that for a soreness that has not really quite left me. The funny thing about New York City is the great majority of people who move there intend to only be there for a short period of time. They know that they will eventually leave. Where to? It was a question I had a hard time answering myself, and I had five years to find the answer. So most of my friends in New York City were other internationals just because New York City is such a great melting pot and most if not all of them intended to go back to their home country after a few years to get into family business or to be closer to family. They were sure, I was not. Every time someone asked me, do I see myself living in Jakarta in the long term, I didn't really know how to answer that. My parents made a lot of sacrifice so they could send me abroad. They were driven by the desire to give me opportunities to build a better life. We have a very close relationship, although it has not always been easy. But there is no doubt in their mind that I love them very much. But I always wondered if not knowing if I wanted to live closely with my family meant that I didn't love them as much as I had thought. So this past summer, after quitting my job and deciding to leave New York City to pursue my own path, I decided to spend a few months living at home to recuperate, figure out a game plan but also to resolve a question whether I could see myself living in Indonesia for the long long term. The country had left for almost a decade now. I knew it was going to be hard but I thought it was also going to be easy because a lot of my friends are in Jakarta. The friends I've spent so much of my time missing. I thought I could just easily slip back into my old life and just press resume on this life I had paused for so long. What I didn't realize was when you spend so much time away living in various different places, you stop belonging to a certain place. It didn't take me long to realize that a lot of my friends and I have outgrown our friendships. There were some friendships that felt like no time has passed and despite living in such different worlds, it made me feel like unconditional, unwavering love exists. But there were so many friendships where it paid me to see that it was no longer the same. Through outgrowing those friendships, I realized that I too am no longer the same. I never quite realized, but in all those years I have been away, I really am no longer the same girl I was at 22, heck, even at 18. I grew up, and in a lot of ways, I am different. And I don't even remember what it was like to be her. It reminded me of that scene from past lives that absolutely devastated my heart. When Nora told Heisung, the girl you once remembered no longer exists. But just because she no longer exists doesn't mean it wasn't real. Being back home also made me feel like life was fixed and the paths were narrow and there were certain things that were expected of me. I didn't like that feeling. I realized that my dreams are far too big, and in a way, I am a little too independent to live at home. I've also picked up one to too many Western American ideals, even though I could never fully identify as one. 
And so I'm back in America, choosing to settle in San Francisco for the short term. Although something tells me that I'm not gonna be here very long, or America for that matter. But the right thing to do for now is to continue living away from home to chase my dreams. I left at 18 to chase my dreams and also to find myself. It amuses me how the chasing and finding never quite stops. And when it comes to family, it is for the precise reason that I love them very much, that I feel indebted towards the sacrifice that they have made, that I owe it to them to build a much better life and take the most out of all the opportunities that otherwise wouldn't have been given to me, even if it means less time together. When I think about objectively the number of times I'm able to go home, the number of weeks I get to spend to see my family and friends, Spoiling the time I get to spend to specific days makes me very sad. But in life, you need to make sacrifices and sometimes do things you don't like in order to build the life you want. When you leave home, you leave a part of your life and yourself behind. The person you could have been. The moments you have to inevitably miss out on. The life you could have had. The longing and the loneliness never really quite go away. Even after 10 years, Trust me, I know, you are always going to be missing out on something or on someone or the small moments that we typically take for granted. In a constant state of goodbyes and having to choose between who you get to see and who you give your attention to. I will always be in a constant state of goodbyes and having to choose. I've had to let go of the person I once was or the idea of the person I could have been if I had decided to stay at home or the life I even once had. The thing is you can never fully know what that life would have been like. You can only trust that the one you're in right now is the one you're supposed to be in because otherwise it would be even harder. And you need to let go of the person you once was in order to become the person you want to be. There are so many people that I miss, so many memories that I can't really put into words. So many times I wish I could have been there for my family. I hope one day I figure out the answer to the question of where would you like to live forever? A question I hope to find the answer to when the city I grew up in feels far too small and the country I'm living in now never quite warmed up to me. That I will be able to find a place or somewhere that understands all of me, a home I can fully call my own.